Roger Sala here, and Army did this this year, and I actually was at the game and then watched it later uh, on film. But it is something that you can do at the high school level because in high school football, you are still allowed to cut if you're on the line of scrimmage. So it makes it so that the center is the only player who can cut in high school football because your guards and tackles are so far off the ball they need to be so they can give ground to get the angle that they need to cancel the gaps, especially on scoop blocks, veer releases, that sort of thing. So cutting the one technique on his own dive is something you certainly can do. The quarterback is going to snap the ball, and then he's going to step, and this is the only time this is going to happen. He's going to step at a 45, so he's going to get in some shoulder turn here, and he is going to get his backside shoulder through the play side knee of the one technique, and he is going to go to the ground. He is going to go to the ground, cutting off that player to prevent that player from scraping over the top and or, and or creating any penetration anyway. It's really to keep him on the back side of the play, but he's going to snap the ball. He's going to step at a 45. This is the only time I would ever tell you to step at a 45. But he's going to step at a 45. He's going to stand at a 45 degree track until he can get his shoulder through the knee of that player. Now, I'm not telling you to roll the knee for ethical reasons, of course. Um, we all love Jesus here. So the to get the shoulder into the knee to get the player to go down if he goes lateral or to get him to come up the field so that makes him a backside player. And now he's in the scoop track because the backside guard sprints his belly button through the center. The backside tackle sprints his belly button through the backside guard. The backside receiver comes up. Because what you're able to do from there is now you can, if it's a two-eye, you can still, whatever it's a two-eye, two or three, the guard will have that player. You're not going to get a two-eye and a one on the same side. That's insane. But for a two or a three, you can simply deuce it now, and then it's more natural. The receiver's got the nearest inside backer. The court, the A-back wedges with the tackle. So if number one doesn't show, he'll end up on the mic. Now you got yourself one heck of a play. Then the quarterback will take the snap, jump in the gap, point the ball. B-back sprints to the ball, sprints to the play side, hit with the tackle, and scores. Quarterback carries out the fake. A-back runs the pitch. So that's something you can do on zone dive. You can do it on crush as well. You can do it on kick, which is the, the center snaps the ball. He breaks on a 45. He'll get his backside shoulder through the plain side knee of number one and just the side of it and go to the ground so that if this guy wants to go that way, he's going to fall over. And if he wants to go up the field, he's going to get scooped. So, because this is the one player that can cut in high school football. It's still legal. It's still legal in the Federation because he's up on the football. And he has to go immediately to the ground at the snap. So, if he goes immediately to the ground at the snap, you got yourself a chance there to basically handle the one technique by himself. So, that's cutting the technique on his own dive. Uh, we could also label that with crush and kick as well because they would apply as well in modern times. Coaches, you want to run Army, Navy, and Air Force's offense the right way the first time, give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video, so is my website. The Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy camps will have you getting this offense ready to go for 2022 and the right way the first time. Talk soon.